young initiates speak of the influence of seeing Sang Omas on TV. The broadcasting of Yubungoma has received a lot of flack on social media, but the constant airing of it has proved there is a demand. As more Sang Omas become celebrities and more celebrities answer when their ancestors call, there has been a debate about whether the broadcasting of Yubungoma is necessary and if the shows do justice to the practice. There has been a large number of people airing their views on spirituality. F5 News spoke to a few initiates to establish whether the broadcasting of African spirituality was helping them. Rory Sang Mavius, 34, who discovered her gift at a young age, spoke of her journey in African spirituality. Growing up I wanted to be like other children so badly that I started seeking help from different traditional healers and prophets but that did not help me. No one understood my gift, she told Chwisa Live. After seeing various traditional healers who promised to help, Mavius decided to allow herself to be guided by her spirit. I believe everyone has a gift in life and you are allowed to embrace it anyhow you want it. I went to get initiated because I wanted to have peace in life, I wanted to be free. Being a spiritually gifted person is not for the faint-hearted, especially when you don't understand why they choose you. Speaking of the rise in Yubungoma content, Rory Sang said she was disgusted and felt TV stations were disrespecting our ancestors. Rituals need to be respected, if ancestors wanted everyone to know your detailo, they would tell everyone about them. I am not saying they are a secret but they shouldn't not be broadcast on TV because we don't believe in the same religions. The journey to Yubungoma doesn't start when you get into initiation school, said 20-year-old Anathai Bapala, adding that her journey had begun when she started seeing signs. She was 17 years old when it started, but only took action in June this year after struggling with the stigma surrounding Yubungoma. It was not social media or advertising via TV that helped me to understand what I was going through. I grew up in a neighborhood where there were a lot of Sangomas and I would witness the ceremonies but didn't know what happens when you are initiated. I was having episodes at home and wouldn't want to watch a TV program that talks about me. Seeing Sang Omas on TV made me realize not everyone's journey is the same. In a world where we often have to go against the grain, Anathai emphasizes that some things should be kept sacred.